A long time ago, there was a village in a distant land. In this village, there was a family. Some say the first family of the tribe. And in this family, there was a special clay pot which has been passed from generation to generation. No one in the village knew about the special pot. The pot was passed down within the family with the same words every time. If there ever comes a time of great sadness, break this pot and bring our people peace. Sadness comes in many forms and for many reasons. Great sadness is hard to place. This is perhaps why the pot had yet to be broken until the time of the last member of the family. She was a very old and very wise woman who was loved by everyone. One night, as she was about to fall asleep, she called her only servant and told him this. A great sadness will come within the town. Before the sun sets, we must break the spot in a place where everyone will see. The very next day, when the dawn came, the last of her family, the oldest and the wisest of the tribe, went to her assistance. This caused a great sadness. All the people of the tribe gathered together and wept and wept. As the sun prepared to set, the servant remembered the last instructions she had given him. And around the village fire, he stood before the tribe and smashed the clay pot on the ground, breaking it into pieces that captured the last of the set himself. No sooner had she done this, then a thick, dense cloud of smoke began to rise from the shattered pot. The villagers stopped crying, stopped moving. Sounds began to come from the earth, from the trees, from the air. The people all stood and listened. The smoke grew thicker and rose higher from the ground and into the earth. The sounds had a rhythm. Some overlapped, some distant, some sounded far and some near. The sounds took form and washed like a wave over the people. The children could hear songs on the wind. The young men could hear poems from the trees. The women could hear tales from the earth and the elders could hear all three things. There were no tears in the village. Only wonder at what had been released from the clay pot. The smoke rose high into the air and spread out from the village and into the world, touching earth, trees and skies. Animals and people touched by it began to sing songs, recite poetry and tell stories. And these stories are with us even to this day.